commitment. And Maya was, was one of people performances for the club. And the, the, the people that followed the game, that's, that's possibly the most pleasing thing to me, that if you're going to produce anything, as far as sport is concerned, come on, you had to realize that your performances would be for the children and the people that follow the sport to be proud of what, what you were doing while you were out there performing. Back in your day, you were one of the first to play for Somerset outside of Somerset Cup Match. Okay. Um, and, and you see how Cup Match is revolving nowadays. Yeah. Um, was, it, was it something, pride, that, that got you to go to Somerset? Well, it was pride because Somerset only used to play people that were working in the dockyard and they represented Somerset. But if you, you come from the parishes, you were considered to be an outsider. And I decided that that wasn't good enough. So I had a friend of mine who tried to break into Somerset. And he didn't make it, not because he wasn't good enough, but they just didn't believe in picking anybody from outside. So I decided, as a result of my godfather, Joe Butler, decided to join me to Somerset Cricket Club. I can remember he said to me, Skinny, go up there and show those people how to play cricket. Anyhow, he joined me to the club. And when I first went up there, I was like a stranger. Nobody would speak to me. The girls were all right. <laughs> I could hold the girls, but the guys would speak to me, you know. So yeah, I managed to get around and, and play, and they started to like me. After a while, they started to take to me. So I, I, I ended up making cup match after playing the league with them. See, I joined, joined the club and played in the league with them so they can have a good look at me. And They played me in the league team, and the turn round, we had, had, had to um, play our way into cup match, and they, um, um, they ended up selecting me. After being selected, I played the first year of cup match only because I was determined that Somerset had to take somebody from the outside. Bami Somerset tried, and they never took Bami. Not because he wasn't good enough, but that's the way they used to operate. So I said, well, okay, I'm going to try. And I went up there and I played for him. So anyhow, I played, played the first year. And when it came, when it came down to, to selection time, the last game of, of the year, before they selected the team, I made 101. They're still up there arguing about who they're going to play. 
And I, I, I was pretty smart with people, you know. Mm. I take care of me. But you leave me out and have Jack Public to deal with. I never no, forget saying that. You have Jack Public to deal with. Anyhow, they used to have a boy that used to get around the skirt of the team. And he would say, you could have made a thousand and one, you'd never make this side. And that, that was, that's the way the thinking was, you know. So how I play, ended up playing. Now, let me ask you this question. You, you see a lot of players in, in both football and cricket moving around from club to club. In your day, you didn't have that much movement. Is it, is it one of those things about loyalty to a club? Some people are loyal to a club, not everybody. Some people like to, to, to be recognized for, well, I'm this good and that person wants me, so I'm going to play for them. You know, it, that's, the way, that's the way they used to jump around. I, I, I never believed in that. What did you learn to, to, to play cricket, football, and billiards? Well, it just depended. You learn from watching other people and, and the mis mistakes that they make. Mm -hmm. and, and you find that, that sometimes you've got something that you want to put out there and they don't have. For instance, I look at the television one time just here, just here recently. And the ball, the ball came up the field and the guy turned around and pulled the ball into the net. It didn't, didn't move me. That's my favorite, mm. you know? But they made so much noise about that Bicycle kick or something that they call it. It wasn't a bicycle kick, it was a kick. And things used to be so that when I was playing at center forward, they used to turn around and put two men on me. One, one in front of me, one in the back. If I run ahead, I'm boxing up to somebody. If I went back, I'm boxing up to somebody. They had me like that. And I'm, um, that's where the overhead kick came in. So one day we were playing, and I kept boxing up to these guys, and the ball came up the field. And I broke away from my bed out and jumped. And pulled the ball on my head and in the net. That's the first time I knew about the overhead kick was the day that they, 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 they severed me in between the two of them. I don't like to talk about sport, but there ain't nothing I can't talk about mm -hmm. as far as sport is concerned. Um, <laughs> so it's funny, man. And the best thing come out of my you know, two legs. I cry when I say it, you know. Nobody could beat me. I'm the one that got the blacks to play against the white boys. Only because they waited until I retired. And then they came out and challenged with two clubs they played. Southampton was one of them. Uh, forget what the other club was. But I was in retirement. I said, no, no, don't go like that. And I came out of retirement and played against the BAA. And we knocked them out to nothing. I scored one girl and forget how to say my book. I don't talk about nothing that, that's in my book. You know? 
They knocked my tune off them anyhow. Then I went back to retirement again. Because I think it's time for the children to have that time. Not for me to go out there and brag about what I can do and what I've done and this and that. Let the children do what they can do. And it's surprising what, what they can do. It's surprising what their children can do. And if you think I'm lying, just keep your eye on them and watch them and out. And I play them. And you'll see. Somebody thinks so. Somebody thinks <laughs> Some of the things I do, I say to myself, I wonder if I could do that. <laughs> Honest, you know, the children are bright. Our children are bright. And we just got to stay with them. Stay with them. And lead them. Let the children, let the children get in and, and do what they can do. It's surprising what they're doing. They're getting scholarships. A lot of things that they're trying to do. Not the worst of the two, I can't even spell. Honest. I can't spell so many things these children can spell. But I tell you what, they better leave me alone when it comes to balls. You know, cricket, football, and billiards, they better leave me alone. I made 3,600 breaks on a full size billiard table. They don't play billiards no more. Knock that right out the head. And I can remember as clear as ever that they were telling me that they were bringing in a, a fast bowler from England or somewhere. I don't know where that was he come from. And um, Tyson is his name. And they, they decided they decided that the mom, well, wait until he meets Tyson at Prospect Field. I met this fella, fast roller, and I made 18 off of him in one over. The first one he bowled, he opened the bed, bed for my head, and I got under it. He just flicked him away and went down there. And he went away and he looked at me and made his gestures at me and I I didn't maybe maybe I didn't see him. And he went, kept walking away from me, back on, back on, back on. I still stayed quiet. Stayed quiet. And then next ball he came. He was short, and I hit him. And the ball went way up in the air. Covered my field, the other field, and went down. The ball was here over there. At the time, Charles Dolphin's father was a bottle of liar. So they were making jokes about how fast this fellow was. And Joe said, no man. Jeez, he hit him so hard. He went up. But they called some school up. <laughs> but he exaggerated, you know. <laughs> Joe exaggerated. And and the mom. It was a big six. And then it was another one. I made 18 off of this fast bowler in one hour. But he went back to England. They didn't play him no more. They didn't play no more. You ended his career. Apparently so, <laughs> you know. Apparently so.